Hi guys. Um, so I'm making slow cooker lasagna uh, for dinner tonight. This is just my own recipe. Um, but I thought I'd show you how I do it. So first of all, I'm just browning the mince. Oh, uh, can you see that there? So I'm just browning that in the, in the pan. So, you don't need to, oh, you don't need to um, cook it too much, just make sure you brown it because it's going to be in the slow cooker for quite a long time anyway. So don't worry about it um, being cooked. And I'm using Domilo bolognese and it's a smooth one because you know CJ um, has got the palate of a baby. I wonder if I can somehow... Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to pour that whole thing in. Give it a good stir. Now I was using a uh, lean steak rinse in this. I think it was uh, 15% uh, fat. Then my secret ingredient is this. Uh, Graham and I, Graham and I like the barbecue flavour. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of that in. I know, <laughs> I know most of these are going to be like, oh CJ what are you doing, that's not, that's ridiculous. But I like it like that so. And that basically is your filling. So let me take you over to my slow cooker. They say that you should put a small layer of the sauce along the bottom just to stop it from uh, sticking. I'm just going to do that. Okay. Then I am using Tesco's fresh lasagna sheets. Now, the every other time I've made this, I have used uh, dry pasta, so it def it's fine with dry pasta. Um. This just, I just sort of try this. So the thing is, obviously you're never going to get it. You're going to have to break your pasta because you're never going to get it um, oval, <laughs> circular. So just try and get it in as be the best as you can. by breaking it up into, into bits. Okay. So, that's the first layer. Then we're going to go over it again. And you just lay it up, you know, the way you would if you were making it in um, a casserole dish for the oven. And the last 
over mince. I actually ran out a wee bit. <laughs> Probably a bit too much. That's alright. And I'll take the last bit of this sauce. Look, where's my spoon? There it is. And just um, spread it about. Now I'm going to put some cheese on the top. What I would say is, don't use all your cheese right now um, and come back and put some on just before, about half, 20 minutes before it's done. So I'm putting this on high and because the pasta is already uh, partly cooked, I would say about three, four hours. So that's your, that should be about four hours, I would say. Um, it would usually be five if you were using a dried pasta, but because I'm using the fresh pasta, it should really only be maybe three or four hours on high. Um, could, the mint is already cooked and the pasta is already half cooked. So anyway, we'll come back and have a wee look when it's done. Okay guys, it's been three hours. Let's go and have a little look. It's bubbling away, so. Oh, there you go. Doesn't that look awesome? It smells so nice. So, what I'm going to do is turn it off and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes just to firm up. And while it's doing that, I'm going to make a little side salad and some... Uh, I've bought some, oh there's my ice maker, love it, I've got some uh, bread, nice bread to go along with it, not garlic because Graham doesn't like garlic so, okay I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys so I've got my little side salad and my bread and I'm just going to, there we go. There we go. Doesn't that look lovely? And there you can see the layers inside. So I will try it and I will let you know how it tastes and um, what Graham's opinion was. Because he's a harsh critic, oh yeah. So thanks for watching guys. If you try it, let me know and let me know what you would have done different, which is I'm sure a lot. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Bye.